I recently became intoxicated by the attention given to me by a pretty young woman, and I made an absolute fool of myself. I vastly overestimated her level of interest in me. If you're living in reality and you're in a strong, healthy, psychological, spiritual state, you're not going to become delusional because some pretty young woman gives you some attention. But if you are consistently looking for ways to bliss out on some addiction, whether it's pornography, whether it's attention, whether it's debting, whether it's online spending, drugs, alcohol, masturbation, all right, if you're consistently looking for ways to bliss out, right, you are going to consistently remove yourself from reality. You will be destroying the reputation you have with yourself and inevitably diminishing the reputation with having you have with other people. You're living in reality and you're not blissing out consistently on addictions so that your daydreams have become maladaptive, all right, then you make better choices and then you feel better about yourself and other people feel better about you. You'll make better choices about where you invest, right? Uh, people like me often make terrible investment choices because we want to live in a world of delusion where we become rich and powerful and so we're easy to turn into suckers. I came to Hollywood in 1994 and I got taken for thousands of dollars in overpriced acting classes and various scams because I wanted to believe that I was Hollywood star material. And so when these scammy operations you know, would peddle something to me, oh, we're casting a movie, we think you'd be great. And they even, they even place announcements in Variety about how Luke Ford is going to be starring in this, this new movie. And you know, I would part with hundreds and even thousands of dollars for people who had enabled my delusions. Then, I think uh, late 1995 or 1996, I, I snapped out of the delusion that I was Hollywood star material. And then nobody ever took advantage of me in this way because I wasn't looking to be taken advantage of. Right? There, there were various times in my life, particularly around 1994 and again around 2007, early 2008, where I spent thousands of dollars on how to become a great entrepreneur and how I could make you know, a lot of money online. And I spent thousands of dollars on information products and motivational speakers. And then early 2008, I just snapped out of it. Right? I've never been taken in again. So people will successfully enroll you in lies and manipulation and deceit right? to the extent, basically, that you let them. But when you're living in reality, when you're honest about yourself, when you are cognizant of your own vulnerabilities, when you set yourself on a path of self-honesty, right? then when other people say something to you that does not make sense, right? you can immediately grok. They're trying to manipulate you consciously or unconsciously and you don't get taken in by scams.